Hi guys, so this is an update video of a video uh, I made two weeks ago. Um, I bought a, an engagement ring from uh, Ritani.com. I thought it was a great deal. Uh, it was a lab-grown diamond, um, which meant that I bought it for almost 40% off the uh, actual value of uh, a mined um, diamond, uh, which to me is, is a great deal. There's a few things that I want to um, give you feedback. Uh, first of all, uh, the diamond look flawless. Uh, I could not tell the difference, I'm not an expert, but at the same time, uh, my fiance is not an expert. Um, so unless you really test those lab diamonds um, with special machines in a lab, you won't ever see any difference. They're diamonds, they're real diamonds. And 40% off is a no-brainer to me, uh, especially if you do any research, any kind of research about diamonds, you will see that the diamond price is fluctuating so much, um, not just based on the four C's as they say, but it's, it's, it's a market that is controlled by, by groups of people. So even though it's something very nice, it blinks very nice, it, that's all it does, it just blinks. So if you can get something that's the same uh, for all intents and purposes and it does the job, it won't scratch, it's the real diamond, why not save 40%? 40% on a diamond price could mean thousands of dollars. Um, then the other thing is that uh, I try to find uh, the, di the, the, the ring size with the circumference of uh, my then girlfriend's uh, finger. It didn't work quite well. Um, supposedly it was 62 millimeters and that um, translates to a number uh, to a size uh, 10 uh, so I got the size 10 but it was three three sizes up of what I needed so I had to uh, take it I, I proposed in Costa Rica so I had to take it to a local uh, jeweler um, to size it up I got Grinco prized in Costa Rica I paid $75 I know that uh, in the United States, the same uh, kind of job is about 50. And if I was sending back to Ritani, uh, it would be free. Uh, but, you know, I didn't want to leave the country without a ring. So um, that's what I did. I just gave the ring and I, I spent the extra uh, money to size it up. But I saved hundreds, if not a thousand dollars of the, the ring price. So 75 was a small price to pay for me honestly uh, my fiance loved the ring it was uh, I will put pictures up it's a French halo uh, which means it has small diamonds all around the main stone uh, they were perfectly matched at least in the eyes. Uh, the center stone itself was a 0.71 uh, carat, so it wasn't even a carat, but because there was all that hollow diamond on the side, uh, it looked like almost two carat diamond. Uh, at first glance, uh, my, my fiance's finger is a size 7, uh, and as you will see in the pictures, it, it really fills up uh, the finger which is amazing. I mean, for, for the price I paid, I paid just under $1,800 uh, and just over $1,800 with um, the extra money I paid that you might avoid because, you know, I mean, my, my fiance lives in Costa Rica, so I didn't have any other options unless, you know, taking the ring back and sending it to New York to Ritani. Uh, but uh, I assume that you guys are located uh, in the United States and your fiance, future wives too. So it shouldn't be a problem for you. You, you will save on that money. Um, and the other comment I would like to make is you really shouldn't spend more than you should. What do I mean by that? Don't go for over a carrot. Don't go with whatever everybody is saying. Honestly, most women have small fingers and depending on how big the finger is, uh, again, a size seven is right in the middle. Um, so my girlfriend's finger, size seven, 0.71 uh, carat diamond on a halo, 
it looked perfect. It looked, it, it, it was, it was just perfect. I wouldn't get it any bigger. Um, and and I'm not talking about money now. It does, money was really not an issue with me. It, it was about being smart uh, with something that just blinks. You know, it, it just makes me feel good. And uh, again, I did my research. I know how. Uh, uh, diamonds uh, diamond market works so I'm very happy with my purchase I would highly suggest that you do yourself a favor and you save uh, money on buying a uh, from Ritani it was a really good experience uh, B uh, buy a lab grown diamond there, there's no difference there's no difference not to you not to your future wife not to anyone that will see it they can test it with any machine they will find it the same unless it goes to a special uh, lab. They will never know. That's all that, that matters. Uh, it comes with a booklet that uh, describes everything uh, about the stone. Keep in mind that these stones are not, when we say lab grown, they are grown, they, they are simulating uh, what's happening under the uh, Earth's crust. And that's how they make it. They make it in a lab, but it grows naturally through pressure and heat so the diamond has its flaws it doesn't come out perfect you see the the rating and you you would say like i did at first i'm like how come are you rating this this is artificial a diamond so what's the purpose of a booklet it should be perfect uh, but that's not the case it grows under heat and pressure and it comes out with the same flaws that a natural diamond would come, uh, which means uh, it would have bad or good clarity, it would have bad or good color, uh, it would have some imperfections. Uh, people cut it uh, by hand, so um, the shape, the cut um, is also rated. Um, so guys, save some money for yourselves. As you can see in the pictures, the, the, the ring is amazing. Uh, my fiance couldn't be any happier. Uh, her whole family absolutely loved it. Um, I loved it, and uh, it was <laughs> it was eighteen hundred dollars. It doesn't get better than that. Do yourself a favor and um, buy lab grown diamond. And if if you want to choose the same company that I did, then great. I, I'm very happy with it, and I highly suggest it. Let me know, guys, if you have any questions. I'll be very happy to answer all of them. Um, I went through the process. I also had a, a back and forth uh, with Ritani um, because I had a, a slight delay on my stone. It was imported, so you know, with what's going on around the world, um, there was some delay, but they were able to source it locally, and I was able to uh, get the diamond on time uh, so I can uh, make it to my international trip. Um, so if you have any questions, comments below. Thank you for watching. Bye.